Yeah, hi, it's Keith. I'm being told I'm not lively enough. Anyway, I'm back in Hong Kong and it's a beautiful day today. Uh, you say it was a bit wet, but today it's not raining. So that's absolutely amazing. Right, we're going to talk about lifelink. We've got two lifelink units here, uh, 3.6 with 3.8 kilowatt hour batteries, two units. We've also got an additional battery here, a 5.3 kilowatt hour battery. So we've wired this all in parallel, two inverters in parallel, battery in parallel. But one thing we've also connected, we've connected a microinverter here. We've connected the microinverter to the load side. So this is the load. It connects onto the load here. And the, the load here is then connected to these. You've, you've got these lamps which are in parallel. Um, if you look on here now, we're actually running this one bulb, um, 189 watts. So we do some look at the calc we've got here. Um, 8.2 uh, amp, uh, 47 times 2 is about 800 watts. Um, so there's 800 watts. It's being dissipated between the the batteries going out to charge the battery. You can see you can see on the currents in the battery. So the two batteries and the lamp. So it roughly calculates almost 800 watts. 200, 200, 200, 200, something like that. So we're running at eight. We're we're running. It's running fantastic. We're connected to the AC now. One thing is, if you look on the AC, this is the AC feed. Um, there's basically there's there's there's, there's no there's no input, so there's no input power. So the only energy that this system is receiving is from the microinverter. So the microinverter is powering the load, it's powering the charge of the batteries, and it's not taking anything off the AC. Now here's the, here's the thing: if we disconnect the AC, so we're now just running off grid as as if it's a full off grid. And don't forget one thing to bear in mind. These, uh, the Lifelink is a true all-in-one unit. It's everything is one. So it actually doesn't require any gadgets or gizmos or anything else to make it work. It has the MPPTs built in. So it's got the MPPT so it can connect directly to the solar. Uh, it doesn't need any special gateway to make it run off-grid. It will run off-grid. So it is a true bi-directional all-in-one hybrid. So if I switch off here, this is the AC power coming in and I can disconnect the AC. Um, you do get to change over, it's about, what's the, what's the, Joe, what's the change over time? It's about 20 milliseconds. Uh, about half, half minute. No, the, the, the change over. The change over? Yeah, about oh, 10 milliseconds. 10, so we've got a 10 millisecond, half minute. No. <laughs> we got, that's, that's, the boot, that's the boot up time. So on the change over, it's about 10 milliseconds. So we've got a very, sh very short change over. You can see it's on an incandescent lamp. If you're running on a television, so you can't see it. Um, m most things, most inverters work that way. Um, we're actually running here. We've, we've actually, if you look, we've got th two 3.8s and a 5.6, about 13 kilowatt hours of battery on this small system here. Um, as I said before, it doesn't require any gateway or gadgets or anything like that. It is a true all-in-one unit. Now we've got the microinverter. You see it's connected on the load side. So in fact, we've disconnected, um, we've disconnected the I'm just looking on the thing. It's 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 actually it's right. off. Yeah. I guess which it's, it's completely disconnected. There's a spurious reading that's on the, the meter. There's some something. It's actually but we're, we're actually completely off power and I've actually completely disconnected it. So we've got nothing at all connected on the grid. We're now completely off grid. So now the microinverter of the two power supplies is still supplying 800 watts off grid, and the 800 watts is powering the load and it's also charging the battery. And if you, if you increase the load a little bit, it will reduce the power from the battery. So can we increase the load a little bit, Joe? So you now doubled the load. And if you can see from this meter here, it's 426 watts. So it's 426 watts. We're still delivering 800 watts off the microinverter. Um, but this time, the power going to charge the battery has been reduced a little bit. So the, the battery charging is, is reduced. If we start increase increase the load a little bit more, can we increase it up to a bit higher? Um, and in fact, if we take it take it to the maximum, right? That's brilliant. So what's actually happening now is we've increased the load an awful lot. So we've increased the load here. You can see it's 860 watts. Um, so the power from this micro is only about 800. So the, the delta is now coming from the battery. And you can see here, we're drawing off the inverter 116 watts. 
So what's actually happened now, the inverter has moved from charging the battery to discharging the battery automatically. It just, the whole thing is automatic, it's, it's amazing. So the, the inverter is a true bi-directional inverter. So when the microinverter, which is on the load side, starts charging the battery through the load side, and then we, we, disc, we then increase the load, the whole thing reverses. It's really, really clever. Now, if we remove the load, I, I, I'm gonna ask you to touch because it's gonna be rather hot. Can we just switch off, the, Joe, can we switch the load off completely? So, right, we've just completely, dis, we've completely disconnected the load. Um, let's just see what's happening here. It's not really changing very much, but what's happening on here, on the business side, we're now putting the energy, you see here, there's 300, and we see here, two, this is 600 watt, going into the batteries. So in fact, what we're doing now is we've reversed it, and now the inverter is instantaneously reversed. There's no delay in it, the whole thing is just moved backwards and forwards. And that's the thing with a bi-directional inverter. One way it's charging, one way it's discharging. That means you can use the unit, AC coupled, offload or onload so if you're completely off grid you can use this it's brilliant and you want to expand your system you just use a micro inverter if you want extra inverter and you can you, you don't have to connect it any other way but on the load many systems what what, what happens joe we were just talking when the battery becomes full what oh, happens we will change the output frequency to 53 hertz and then the microwave will not work with so, off shift frequency so okay so it's frequency shifting so what we're basically saying is when the battery becomes higher and higher and higher then the whole frequency of the unit drop changes a little bit increases a little bit increase a little. so increases a little bit and the microinverter or it could be a string inverter they recognize the increase in the frequency and it attenuates it reduces it and it reduces it as the frequency comes up up and up and up a notch then the attenuation will increase and eventually it will switch off the microinverter or the string inverter to the load. And that way it gives you full control. It's a really simple, so you, you see here, we're still, we're still supplying the same energy, it hasn't changed. Here is the load connection. Here is the micro, you look at the connection, we just use it onto a plug socket really. I know it's not um, in, in the UK, you can't do it. You do this in, you can actually do this in Germany up to a certain limit. Unfortunately, in the UK, we don't have these regulations, but it's, it's easy to just to use this as a demonstration rig to show you AC coupling on the load side. Now, I did do a video not so long ago, AC coupling on the grid side, but that's relatively easy compared to the load side. It's much more complicated. And then if we, if we then introduce back onto the grid again, then the whole thing will switch back. Um, it's really, really nice. It's really simple to do. One thing, show, show on the setting. There's a setting that you do. For the grid side, a Joshi. And it says here, AC coupling. So it's simple as that. It's really simple. It, it you know, what what else can I say? You know, this is this is the this is a true all-in-one unit, all in one. You can mount it, you can connect it, job done. It's it's beautiful. And you don't need the, 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 the nice thing about using the lifelink is you don't need a gateway, you don't need MPPT, everything it's all in one. And and one thing is if, if you want to increase the size of your system, you can either just buy additional batteries or you can buy additional whole inverter with the, the whole all in one again. If you're using two all in ones, obviously it doubles the power. If you don't need as big an inverter, just use one all in one and one battery. It's that simple. Anyway. Thanks for following us. Keep following us on uh, YouTube. Keep subscribing and we'll keep putting more videos. Thanks a lot.